Right, so hi friends. Good morning. Hope you're all doing very well today. Let us take a quick look at uh, what this latest module of SAP UI5 Fiori is and what this is all about. So basically Fiori in Italian means a flower. So now let us understand why SAP Fiori has become such an important module today and why there are high chances of other modules being surfaced and UI5 Fiori and HANA being on the topmost in SAP. <clears throat> so as we are able to see, uh, now that we all know that SAP has sustained in the market from 1970s and is going stronger and stronger day by day. But in order to be in touch with the technology or in order to have the connect with technology, it is very important for any technology to be parallel with what is happening today, right? And with the things things happening like you talk of the cloud or mobile internet, we see things going online nowadays. The entire technology would be sustainable only if it goes online. So how would SAP overcome this barrier of their traditional screens? So th this is the reason why Fury has come into picture. Now the basic difference between UI5 and Fury is a standard application and a custom, custom application, but otherwise SAP UI5 Fury is one model as such. So the basic aim of SAP UI5 Fury module is to get SAP into the hands of common man, like mobiles or internet or maybe your desktop browsers but something which is access accessible from any point or at anywhere so now as we keep going into sap ui5 fury it is very important for us to understand what are the basic requirements for us to become an sap ui5 fury consultant they are basics of ABAP programming html5 css3 JavaScript, SAP UI5, a basic of SAP UI5 as in the interface, ERP implementation experience, and SAP NetWeaver gateway and or data. So if we categorize this, we would be able to see that HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript are all used for front-end implementation. And basic of ABAP programming, ERP experience, and OData services are used for backend implementation. Now that this is a client server model, we need to design our front end in Eclipse with the help of HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript, and a bit of jQuery if required. And on the backend, we take ABAP, uh, a basic ERP implementation experience, which we have seen on floor and basics of OData and NetWeaver Gateway. This, my dear friends, which we are seeing here is uh, the feel of an SAP UI5 Fiori Launchpad. Uh, now in this, uh, every application that we are able to see, like my timesheet or analyze sentiments or notification tile, these are all standalone applications which are embedded in a single SAP Fiori Launchpad. Here we see that various applications are divided into various categories as per the company's requirements. And if you go and have a look at the entire Fury launchpad, then we would see different categories separated on different companies' functionalities. Like we have the HR, we have the MM, which is material management, we have FI finance, and it goes on and on. So let us take a quick look at the architecture of SAP UI5 Fiori. As we are able to see, uh, initially an index page is triggered. In, oh, I would rather say in the index.html page, we trigger a component.js in which we define an application component or we, or we can also say a component container which contains the application view which either could be an application or a split app. And this app controller centrally controls the controller view 
and any other format uh, like any other elements used like we use the formatter we use the css page so here they all come into picture and this app controller centrally controls the entire data flowing in and out the navigational parameters and any data which is coming like we do the data binding and all this in this part which is the controller and the view so this controller and view are called in the app controller page which enable the navigation these are in turn dependent on the sap.m.app and sap.m.split app so if you are able to see it is just an up and down process the moment index.html is triggered we get the data from the call command which we are seeing into the application controller and then once we get our data into the application controller it would be displayed in the application view through sap.m.app it is as simple as that my dear friends so in order to make life of an sap consultant easier and in order to avoid the coding which is so long sap has built a, a big reservoir of standard applications to make the world of developers quite easy so what they have done is they have built somewhere around 7000 odd applications which are called sap uh, standard applications so these standard applications is what we call fiori now as we can see i have just dotted down a few applications which are very frequently used in organizations like create or approve sales order create or approve leave request track sales order create shipment request now we can see applications which are completely categorized like we have separate applications for sales like create and approve sales order generate sales order request track sales order track shipment these are all related to sales order now we have some basic hr applications like we can view the salary slips leave request employee uh, generation and employee appraisal you want to see your track record of the company uh, you want to see your track record in the company then we have my benefits application we have different applications all categorized very separately and distinctly so that we do not have trouble understanding the standard applications also and these standard applications are suitable for different business functionalities so that's it my dear friends this is a, an overall understanding of what sap ui5 fiori is now as we are able to see the sap has some very big clients and partners which we all do realize so these are some companies which have been on high level implementation of sap and have already been on sap ui5 and have already gone into hana also so it is it becomes very important for us at least for all the sap consultants out there looking for good opportunities and better opportunities and chances to grow it becomes very important for us to stay in touch with technology and be parallel to the moving world so i i hope you find this video useful please do comment and let me know for any further help that i can extend thank you i hope you have a great journey